This morning, CNN reporting that a U.S. Marine veteran has been killed while fighting in Ukraine. According to his family, 22-year-old Willie Joseph Cancel had been working for a private military company in the country since mid-March. His mother telling CNN he wanted to go over because he believed in what Ukraine was fighting for. He leaves behind his wife and a seven-month-old baby. Late Thursday, just as the U.N. Secretary General was visiting Kyiv, two Russian missiles struck the center of the capital, injuring 10 and killing one, according to the city's mayor. You can see the massive emergency response as well as the military. The ground is covered in glass. Explosives are thick in the air. This is chaos in the heart of Kyiv. The head of the U.N. acknowledging it has failed to stop the bloodshed. His visit also focusing on the besieged port city of Mariupol, where hundreds of civilians and Ukrainian fighters remain trapped inside an old steel plant. Antonio Guterres saying Russia's President Putin had agreed in principle to allow civilians to evacuate. But the Russian assault shows no signs of stopping. On Thursday, massive bombs striking the steel plant's makeshift military hospital, according to Ukrainian officials. Marina Kratsova's husband is one of the fighters trapped inside. Every time I speak with him, he tells me about the bright future we'll have after we win. How does that make you feel? I'm very afraid. On Thursday, President Biden asking Congress to fund a $33 billion aid package to help keep Ukraine going through September. Badly needed funds as the country begins to tally the economic toll. Mall owner Andriy Dubienko says he's lost almost everything. He shows us harrowing videos of what happened when the Russians arrived on his street and the devastation they left behind. I'm very sad, but I'm also an optimist, he says. We Ukrainians are optimists. That's why we will win this war. NBC reached out to both the State Department as well as the family of the veteran reportedly killed. We have yet to hear back. A State Department official tells CNN that they are aware of the reports and are monitoring the situation closely. Hoda. Well, I wanted to hear that man who lost everything say he's optimistic was really something. All right, Aaron, thank you so much. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.